What is up guys, welcome back to the channel and today I have a deck for you. This is a store championship winning deck uh, from teammate Wim uh, who is, uh, we played in the Netherlands or as my, my wife calls him Wilm for some reason. Strange. <laughs> um, so congratulations and also it's, it's good to have actual locals isn't it? It is, it's, it's amazing with the lockdown going on. There are some measures that we have to take, like our events can be more than 16 people on tournaments and you have the plexiglass screens uh, on the table so that you don't get your body fluids in contact with your heart and stuff like that. But <laughs> playing with actual cards is actually really fun again. Yeah, not, not just on untap or on webcam, which is just Yeah, just it's, a it's a different experience, yeah. Yeah, great. Well, congratulations. Uh, you took it Thank with you. your uh, few Samasu decks. So this is the new set 10 mm -hmm. leader. Yes. Uh, and I'm just going to run through the deck. So this is your list that I've got on screen now. Uh, yep. In terms of the leader, uh, for those who don't know, uh, auto, when this card attacks, draw one card, and you can awaken when your life is four or less, or if you have four or more energy, uh, draw mm -hmm. one, untap one. Uh, on the awakened, again, draws on attack, and once per turn, you can sack off one energy to choose uh, either gains dual attack or one of your opponent's battle cards and place it at the bottom of its owner's deck. Yeah. So, uh, very flexible leader. It can be aggro, mm -hmm. it can be control. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, do you want to run through some of your card choices? Yeah, sure. So, starting off with the leader, the returning a card effect is rarely used. It's, it's only when you're in a really bad position, mostly. Because when you give him dual attack, you also draw two cards. And paired with Monaka, it's a dual attack double strike that draws you two. Yeah, for, for those who forgot what Monaka does, it's uh, one cost blue, activate main if you lead a, your lead against double strike, basically, and, yeah, and, and, and draw and a card. And draw a card, so it replaces itself already, and then it just gives insane pressure from the dual attack double strike on your leader. Yeah. Uh, the most important thing in the deck is it's the Zeno Unison. If you do not see it, you will not function. Because the way the deck functions is when the Zeno places an energy, at the end of the turn it dies. So you ramp with the Zeno, you play, like for example, you play your Obuni on turn 4, and then you destroy the energy that would be destroyed from Zeno anyway to give your leader dual attack. If you don't see the Zeno, you can not really profit from your leader because it gets too taxing to destroy your energy at that point. Because if you do it with uh, Zamasu or Goku Black, if the card that you placed with Zamasu is not in your energy at the end of the turn, you have to destroy another one, which you cannot afford to do. So you you really hard mulligan for the Zeno, or you try to search it with Mai. Yeah. This is the two of because I don't have the tournament pack trunks yet. If I do have the tournament pack trunks, I will likely bump her up to four. But space is also really an issue in this deck, mm. like. Because the Zeno is so important, I really do not want to go over 50 to maximize my chances of opening it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, my being yeah. a searcher, which gets trunks as well, is helpful. Yeah, she either gets uh, the unison or the trunks. Uh, the, the, the secret is it's Black Smoke Dragon because I didn't have Gogeta yet. It came in clutch sometimes, but it's definitely getting switched out for... Uh, the Gogeta secret because it's just miles better. Mm -hmm. The Fu food. is my uh, <laughs> it's my pet card. You know all about that. <laughs> yep, yep, yes, I do. <laughs> and uh, and also you've got the single seventeen in there. Do you want to just explain that? Yeah, it's it's like when I play against Invoker usually they get very low very early on because of the nature of their leader that they take life and because you just aggro them too much and it comes to a point that they have they are getting negates in there they're getting sleepy boys they are getting their topos they are getting combinations attack and everything but they will usually be at three or two life when they stabilize that's when you drop the 17 on them. They cannot counter play it because it has deflect. They lose all their cards in their hand and their battle cards in the graveyard. And then you just kill them on the pot on the spot. Yeah, nice. I did that actually come into Yeah, uh, I played against two invokers. The first invoker I killed quite rapidly with a barrage of uh, Obunis. I think I summoned three on him by turn five or something. <laughs> but uh, the second one it dragged on a bit. And he played uh, 
the secret apex on me, which I had to negate with the all too easy from the grave. And then when it wore off, I just Android 17 for a game because he was at two life at that point, I think. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I mean, what what turn would you be dropping the 17 then with your ramps and stuff? Turn six. Yeah. Okay. And because you get one energy above your curve every turn. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah, at the end it's Axel. So. Uh, yeah. Then you've got. I mean, everything else is pretty self-explanatory. You've got this master package sort of search. Yeah. Um, for, for those who don't know, uh, can you just explain what the one, two, and the nine do? Mm -hmm. So the two drop. It's also a way to awaken with the two drop. You can charge it from your for, into your energy as an uh, activate main. But at the end of the turn, it also has to die. If it is not there anymore, you have to destroy another one of your energies. So if you do not have the Zeno, you can just play two Zamasus on turn two and ramp with those and awaken. Or you can play one Zamasu and one Goku Black and awaken that way. But if you use uh, the Black effect to put them in your energy, you cannot play cards other than Goku Black or Zamasu for the rest of the turn and you cannot charge other energy, I believe. Then the 9 drop, he EX evolves for 4. He can EX evolve on a card in your energy. When your opponent is at 5 energy or more, when he comes into play, you destroy 2 of his energies and he has triple strike 30k. He can come out on turn 3 as well, which is disgusting. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> taking out 2 energy on turn 3. Yeah, and since since he is a 9 drop, he also can't be a royal condemnation uh, by Invoker. So if it comes to a point where he has like 2 multicolors open and an Invoker on the field, you just destroy his open uh, multicolors. Nice, nice. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, I guess the, the Zamasu Super Combo is just really good right now. And yeah, and then the hit, the Son Goku hit just makes it better. That part is so stupid. <laughs> it's basically a 19k attacker that attacks two times yeah. with a rival one blue. Yeah. Right and it has blocker as well. Yeah, and apes because, you know. Yeah, apes, apes because they are apes, they are never <laughs> bad. <laughs> So uh, you mentioned that you might change out the Mai uh, and the Black Spoke. Are there any other changes that you would make? Yeah, the TP Trunks needs to be fit in somehow. Probably over Dimension Magics in the main, because it's just better. Okay. Uh, the All Too Easy was also a tank because I was playing against our teammate Anthony's uh, Sin General a lot online. And he would always beat me with Xeno Cell and it was getting so <laughs> annoying that he ripped my negates every time, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna play Graveyard Negate to stop that bullshit from happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, in terms of sideboarding, what what sort of spots are flex spots uh, for, for various uh, matchups? What did I side in uh, against the Big Jacks? I side in the Must Saints, the new ones, that uh, clear up to six. I did have the field package in there, but it never came up, like, I don't think it's that good, honestly, because against your matchups where you really want it, the first one is Invoker where you would want it. You beat them anyway because of 17 and uh, the Black Rosé. Yep. And the other matchup where you would potentially want to put it in is against Sin Shenron, but it's also hard because if they get two 9-drops out, then you can never field spell them again. They will just negate your 9-drop uh, Zamasu with their 9-drop. And then steal it with Mechi Kabura, so you can't get the uh, heal spell off. Yep. But yeah, like I said, if they have one, it's fine, because you can just bounce it away with Zamasu and then play the, the package. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But if they get two out, if they're smart and they get two nine drops out, then yeah, that's it for you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Sin General's very strong, so... Yeah, it's a very strong deck. It, it's, a, it's especially strong against blue and... I've been testing against Anthony a lot for that reason, just to figure out how to get a feel of when do I bounce the nine drops away with my Udison, uh, with the Gotenk Udison, or with the Zamasu leader, when can I take his weak spots, but the deck is really, really strong against Blue. Yeah, okay, great. Uh, well, have you got anything else to add? Uh, not really, no, I think everything is clear. If you guys have questions, you can just always post them under the video and I will try to answer them when I see them. Great. Thank you, and any shout-outs before we go? Uh, 
uh, shout out to the team for uh, playing against me until they are so bored of it. And I need to test my uh, weak matchups. And I'm sorry to Sishan for always playing Fu on him when he's about to stabilize the game. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's 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 my my lesson. <laughs> yeah, you should you should make a petition to get the card path to deal. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just gonna play it instead. You can do that as well. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you and congratulations. No problem. Uh, thank you. So yeah, guys, if you have any comments or questions for him, then just leave it in the comments below. Uh, please like the video and remember to sub for more content. I will see you guys next time.